Hey fam, Chi Chi here. Welcome back. Today we are going to do a side-by-side -side comparison and what fits in the Telfar bags. These are hella popular and still trending. I wanted to show you guys what fits in these bags, especially if you are a plus size gal like myself, because these tiny ones can be very deceiving. So if you are new here, hey, my name is Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish, but logical. So if you like that kind of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on the gram. So if you don't know about Telfar, <laughs> where you been at girl? So this is the Telfar bag. They do come in three sizes, the small, the medium, and the large. The large, in my opinion, is a luggage piece. It's extremely large. The small bag retails for $150 and the medium retails for $202. Of course, we have a plethora of colors to choose from. However, you know that Telfar only drops maybe once every few weeks or so. And the only way to get a choice of all of the colors is through the bag security program, which comes maybe once or twice a year. Most of my bags I was lucky enough to get during drop days, but I have purchased through the bag security program, which for me is the best way to get it. You do have to wait, which is the downside of it, but the fact that I know that I have the bag that I actually want, I like that security. The clue is in the name with that. There are a couple of retailers who are authorized to sell Telfars, but stick with the site and the, ba the bag security program is the best way to cop these bags. But I feel like the releases have been a little bit easier. I haven't tried for a new bag in a really, really long time, but from what I see within the, um, Telfar community, like Facebook groups and stuff like that. I, I do see a lot of people just really winning when the, the bags do drop weekly. So that is a good thing. And you know, they also have the Telfar TV where a lot of the times they have QR codes and they'll have like secret drops and stuff like that. I'm not into the whole Telfar TV. I watched it one time. It was a little too chaotic for my life. I was just like, nope. <laughs> I'll stick to what I know. All right, so let's talk about the size. Obviously, there is a big jump from the small to the medium. You can basically fit four smalls against the medium size. My personal opinion, he needs a medium size to fit right in between these two because I do find that a lot of people feel that the small is a little too small and the medium is a little too big. So I wish they did have something in the middle. I think there used to be a medium size early, early, early on in the Telfar days. Now, both of the bags do have their similarities as well as their differences, but they both have two top handles and a long shoulder strap. Now, the thing about these shoulder straps, on both bags, they're going to be the same length. So no matter if you get the small or the medium, it's the same. I do not know what it is on the large size. I'm actually, we're, we're just not gonna talk about the large because <laughs> it's gonna be a whole lot of I ain't got, I don't know. Obviously, the straps are thicker on the medium and thinner on the small. Now, let's just hop into the small and see what she holds. So. I do have it filled right now with a key holder, Brandon Blackwood, some lotion. I have my coin purse from LV. I have my card holder from YSL. Got some earbuds from Beats, some lip balm right here, and a pack of wipes for the hands. And basically, that is all that's in here. I do have the original tag still on here. Don't judge me guys, I've only used this bag one time and I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it, hence why the tag is on there. If you are unsure, definitely keep the tag on. Just don't rock it like this because you look silly, all right? But inside, you do have a magnetic button closure and you have your large T-shirt tag, which if you know, you know, 
has a little small pocket, okay? So that's one of the ways you can kind of tell if your telly is real or fake. And there are no compartments in here. This is just a small little pit. Now, one thing I will say about this bag, even though it's small, she is very pliable. So you can load this up with a few more things than I put in here. You know, she got a little, <laughs> a little room to move. So yeah, that's basically the small bag in a nutshell. I am gonna show you a different wallet option, but card holders, they're gonna be your friend when it comes to this bag. So we're gonna put in my coin card holder. Now my cell phone is the Samsung Galaxy Ultra 22. The only thing about this, sis, you gotta put her right smack dab in the middle. She ain't gonna fit in the back, she ain't gonna fit in the front. You have to put her right in the middle because she needs that extra bulging from the sides. So keep that in mind if you do have a large phone like I do. I'm gonna throw these wipes back in. I definitely need my keys. I definitely, well, do I need this? No, I don't. We're gonna do earbuds and lip balm and your lotion and that's how it is looking so on the sides you can see it bulges out a little bit and that's because of my phone realistically i wouldn't keep my phone in here because we're so limited on space but just showing you as a demonstration if you wanted to put your phone in you definitely can now i'm going to switch out my coin card holder for my pocket organizer just so I can free up a little bit of space and plus with this I can actually put this in vertically and save a little bit of room I'm just gonna add my coin purse in here and there you go it really does depend on what you're trying to fit in here and how much you want to stuff it but Keep in mind, you know, you, you don't wanna overstuff it either. Now, if you are plus size like I am, wearing this on the shoulder, she's cute. Handheld, even better. But when you start to crossbody her, in my opinion, you look a little silly, only because she definitely gives a left to deflex. And if that's your thing, go ahead. Love that for you. But for me, it just sits up a little too high in, for, in order for me to really like enjoy wearing it crossbody. I know there are people who have cut off the longer straps. Good for you. I just am not that kind of girl. I know some people have um, wrapped the, the straps around the top handles. Again, that's something I'm just not into. But I just let the, the straps kind of dangle and that's basically how it is. I know people also stuff the long straps into the bag, but for me, that is wasting good real estate. So I need my uh, straps to just dangle out here and do what it do because having it stuffed in there and then trying to put stuff into my bag, nah, I'm good off of that. I definitely do wish that they had a model where these longer straps were detachable on all of the models, actually. I wish that was an option. Of course, with removable straps comes hardware. I'm sure it wouldn't be that much more in a cost, but if you're adding stuff to a bag, guess what? That price is gonna go up. So to do a what fits in my bag, it's a tote. So you already know a ton of things are gonna fit in this bag. And honestly, my bag is very misshapen because technically this is a shopping bag. So you're supposed to go to the, your bodega. You're supposed to go to ShopRite and use the bag. That is how this bag was meant to be used. So, you know, mine isn't as, you know, flush as most bags are and that's perfectly okay with me because I'm using it the way it's intended to be used. Mind you, I don't put in groceries, but you know, if I got water bottles and stuff with me, okay, I'm just dumping it in my bag. So the main thing that I can only think of is what people would want to see in this bag is a laptop. 
does a laptop actually fit in here? And the answer is yes. Now I'm currently using my laptop as my monitor, so I'm just going to show you my Louis Vuitton pochette documents, which I keep my laptop in. I do have it a little bit stuffed, but this one definitely fits up in here. My MacBook is a 13 inch, so you're definitely able to fit that in and it doesn't, you know, eclipse the bag. So this definitely does fit a laptop. Now, I don't know if it fits a 16 inch model. And I think the newer models with um, the MacBooks are now 14 inches. I still believe that you will be able to put those in as well because obviously this is a little bit bigger than my MacBook Pro. And um, yeah, I can stick that in here. Now, one of the big differences between the medium and the small is that your medium actually does have a zippered compartment. It's very, very generous. So you can fit the wallet, you can fit the phone, you can fit the keys and you still have a ton of room in here. Normally with tote bags, the zipper compartment is actually on this side of the bag, which is closer to your body. So I did find it very interesting that the zipper part is kind of in the front part, which was, you know, it was just a different take. It makes it a little bit more different. And yeah, with this bag again, because these straps are the same, it looks fine when it's just over the shoulder, but crossbodying it ain't really my cup of tea, but it does hold a ton of things and I've been wearing this. This is probably my most worn Telfar. It's beat up a little bit. It's got some scratches. I remember spilling some um, mushroom sauce on here, you know, when I was getting some takeout, so. <laughs> Uh, she's she's been through it so don't expect these bags to you know withstand the test of time but they can take a nice beating in the meantime you know I do have a couple of you know threads poking out at this point I can't remember how old my bags are at, at all but you know this is one of the first bags that I added to my collection and I like to rotate my bags every week and this one is one of those bags that I just leave on my counter if I just wanna do a grab and go situation where I just need a black bag. I just need a, you know, quick thought. And that bag actually works out perfectly. So the million dollar question is, which bag do I prefer? And honestly, it really just depends on the situation. Now, if I'm going to be, you know, very minimal, I only want to carry a couple of things with me. Of course, I'm going to grab the small bag because it's just not a lot of thought behind it. And if you want to be cute for the gram and stuff like that because they have so many colors, yeah, this bag is just going to hit. Now, if I'm doing work related stuff, I'm trying to edit, go to a coffee shop or like you know, I need a big bag. This is a phenomenal option because you can bring so many things with you and it not be like hella just loud out there. You know, it's a very low key bag depending on what color you pick. But to me, this is phenomenal if you are a working girl out here in these streets and you want something that's gonna carry all of your things and you know, your work stuff. And then, you know, this is for the girls for the gram. My personal opinion is that you just carry this with you, pop it up in the bag. When you go out for lunch, okay, where we going? I know somebody did ask to see my entire collection. I'm gonna get to that. But if you guys wanna see the unboxings to these bags, I'm gonna link those videos bong bong over here. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.